Good morning, good afternoon. I'm so glad you came to join me today. I am so excited to show you something with the India ink that is with my brush. It's just, I have done several pieces with India ink with a brush. You can do quite a few things with just your brush and it gives such a neat touch to a painting. Well, I like black and white. I think black and white is stunning and it's so neat to have it matted and framed in black frame and it just, it just is striking. It's just striking. So now I have to tell you the India ink. Oh, it is so, <laughs> it's permanent. This is, India ink is permanent. So if you get it on something, it's there to stay. So it's not something that's forgiving at all. And when you get done using your brushes, see now these are my silver black velvet brushes and you know how I love my brushes. They really have to be washed out good because they will ruin, it will literally ruin your brush if you stay that, say that, let it stay in there and you don't want it to stay in there. So I want you to see the painting that I'm going to do. I just did do this sketch because I want you to see it. I don't know if you're acquainted with marble up in, um, it's south of Glenwood Springs. It's a beautiful area if you ever have a chance to go. Now it's not the best road for getting back in there, but uh, one of the things that's in Washington, D.C. is from that marble in that area. I mean, this huge, huge, huge thing that was carved for Washington, D.C. And I can't tell you what which one it is, but it's, it's a beautiful area. Well, with that is also this beautiful uh, gold mine can thing that, that I just love. So I didn't do the bottom part just the top part and um, and I'm gonna do it a little bit different part of it will be a little bit more detailed but some of it not detailed at all and you can see what you can do with the ink so that's gonna be fun for me to show you I hope you enjoy it now because this this thing uh, I'm not gonna lay it in my tablecloth so I just lay it in this little container just to keep it so it doesn't get on everything else. And I'm going to start with my number six brush to go on here. And then I'm going to change. I have both my number eight brush and I have my little number two. And I'll use probably all of those. But I'm going to start with my number six. And I'm just going to hold this for right now. And I'm going to stick this in here. And I'm going to just kind of peel it just smooth it off the edge just a little bit okay and so I'm looking at this picture I'm gonna set it up here so I can see it just a little bit better um, I need uh, when I look at this thing it's incredible how dark some of that is well it's the shadow in that uh, that old mine up there those those doors oh my word and so when you do this, it's not perfect, perfect, but it doesn't matter. You know, you have to learn some things you want to just work on them and just make them as perfect, as perfect as you can. And other things, it's just not, it's not as important. So this is going to be one of those things that I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, be bent out of shape if it's not perfect. Now you're going to see that some places I'm just simply leaving the white and see I'm coming down here just a little bit and then you can see that this has run right into the, that roof so I'm going to come up here the shadow has come the shadow has been incredible on this thing so I'm going to I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this and you see my brush and you know if you've watched me with some of my other things, I do some things that's dry brush. So I will be doing some dry brush on this too. Now this is all dark. This is dark, dark here. I can see that this, this thing. So really right now, you know, I have people ask me, do you do the shadow part first or do you do the light part first? Well, I... I don't go by a certain rule by doing it. I just, but right now at this particular thing, I'm basically doing the dark stuff first. 
And I don't know that I will continue doing that all the way, but for right now, that's what I'm doing. So then there's dark, dark down here underneath. So I'm doing that. Now this is on my 140 pound watercolor paper. And it's, um, and I did, I did, um, um, I did go ahead and, and, uh, and wet it good, you know, and then let it drip enough so that I could staple it all around the edges. And the reason I do that is, you know, it helps to keep your paper from buckling. I don't like watercolor paper being buckles. I don't like the looks of it. Now, I can also use my little, um, my little uh, pen to do some of these finest lines if I want to, but I think what I'm gonna do is I will do that limited because I mainly want to do these I mainly want to use this just with my brush and we'll just do a some of those little fine lines and then look at those aspen trees those aspen trees are awesome and that's one thing that you you would be amazed when you see all those aspen trees that are up there they are beautiful so if you can go in the fall of the year I've done several paintings from there from the fall of the year and uh, and 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 I, I've got to tell you something I think what I'm gonna do with this partly because the ink on here that I've been putting on here it's kind of getting worn out not worn out but used up while I have that like that and there's not much ink on there I am going to do ah uh, look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this and make the leaves of these trees because I don't have as much ink on there. See what it does? I'm just holding my brush kind of sideways. It's awesome. Then we can have this tree that's kind of hanging over this. I like that tree hanging over. Wow, just kind of little curly things. They aren't exact. Now I can't, I can't finish all of it because my ink is running out, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my ink and I'm going to do it strong and then when it starts wearing out, then I'll go up and do some more leaves. Okay, now this is really dark up here because of this shadow. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to pull this straight down. See how I'm just pulling my brush? Just pulling it straight, trying to do it as straight as I can. It's not exact, so it's not going to be exact line but that's all right it'll still say that's the shadow of it okay and then this guy has a strong shadow over here so it's like the sun is coming from the right and so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna pull a line straight down like that and we may straighten him up a little bit but right now we're not gonna worry about it and it's kind of like it's it's kind of gone zigzaggy over here because it's going over these funny logs that are, boy, can you imagine having built that thing with those, I'll bet those are just, they. Have, this thing was done so many years ago. I don't know how old that is. I'm sure there's a lots of stories between about from this gold mine that was up there. We, we went on a, trip up there when our boys were not even three months old oh my that was that was a bit of a challenge now look I've got some drops down here no big deal I'm just gonna come up here and uh, they have some awesome campgrounds but I'm sure now in those times we didn't even we didn't even try to uh, you could just go up there and camp but now I'm sure you would have to get reservations and all that stuff. Now I can feel that a lot of this is out, so I'm gonna come back up here. And see, when I see this, some of this these leaves are a little bit thicker, they're a little bit darker, so I'm gonna make some of this just a little bit darker. Boy, I don't have much paint in there. I'll have to come back again. Is that crazy? Now see, that's dry brush. When you see me, when you see me use my brush sideways, see, and just part of the paint's coming off, that's dry brush, and so that's what I've done in that tree. Is that crazy? That's, okay. Now, I'm gonna look at this thing and decide where is the darkest part. 
oh boy, we've got a dark, dark shadow coming across here. It's like the shadow of that thing is a shadow over here. So I'm going to do a line across here just like that. And, we're, and I'm going to leave part of that because the way the shadow would be, there would be some light still shining through there. Now, I've got to turn this because I've got to get the light on the side like this. And uh, I'll make this straight line down here, but we'll leave that all zigzaggy up there. Okay, now where's, oh my, look at this mountain that's up here. Well, it's green, but I'm going to make it black. I'm going to make that behind that. I'm going to, this right here, I'm going to do this mountain that's up here. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to touch it up. So, so I've, I've got to do trees over there, so I don't want to make it solid. But look, I've got to... I've got to wet my brush because I can't let stuff stay in that. I, I, if you do, my brush would be totally, totally ruined. So now I'm going to take this little tiny brush and I'm going to come up here. See, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make some little tiny trees, little tiny trees. Now remember, whenever we do, whenever we do little fine lines, we do our brush pretty much straight up and down. But you know up on top of that mountain up there, there's that tree is, that mountain is full of little trees up on top and that you can see those little things sticking out. So I've got to do some of that up here. So that's all I'm going to do with that right now. But while I have my little brush here, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do these. Uh, you know what? I've got to do this, these, uh, the, the actual trunks of these little trees up here are pretty little. And so I'm going to do this while I have my little brush already dirty with the ink because I'm going to have to clean it out again. Can you see that? Is that awesome? I like that. And now you can see that there's some of those over here in this ones that I've already made the fuzzy trees sticking out. So I'm going to, I'm going to, do a little bit of that while well, I've got my thing on here. Wow, is this is this fun or what? I hope you like watching this with me. I I would like you to try. You know when I when I decided I was gonna do this video with the India ink. I, first I was gonna do an animal because I've done animals. I've done chickens and lambs and oh I've done different things with the India ink and it really is. Oh and I've done a little calf. A little calf it's fun it's fun to do an animal but you know what I just thought oh I think I want to do this gold mine I think it's kind of neat so I think that's all I'm gonna do with my little tiny stuff right now well I'm gonna change my mind because here right over here I've got a a pine tree I'm gonna I'm gonna do this little pine tree I'm gonna cut because then I put those aspen trees around it. So see how I'm just squiggling that? Just squiggle that across. Now remember when you're, you need to, I'll tell you one of the best things for looking at, at the trees, at, well at anything, it's when you look at the actual object. But looking at these trees you will see that they're pretty, they have quite a bit of light in them until they get down at the bottom. And the bottom of this thing doesn't show because the aspen trees are in front of it and there's some other stuff so that's that's about all I'm gonna do with that little guy but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean out my brush now because I don't want any of that to go bad so I'm gonna clean out my brush I'll tell you when I'm done today I will not only clean them out with water but I will be cleaning them out good I'll be cleaning them out good with my uh, with soap I will I will make sure they're clean good. Now this this is dark a lot over here, but because it's it's not solid solid dark, I'm going to do it. I'm going to watch me do it dry brush. Look, I got my ink on there, but I'm going to hold my brush sideways like this, okay? And I'm going to let part of that show through. 
I'm not going to do it solid, solid like I did the stuff up at the top. And it's a challenge to do that. I admit it's a challenge to do that. And so sometimes it does it darker than what you want it. And th that's, that's, that's just part of practicing and learning how to do it. Now, see, I like how that is, but I need to do this space over here. So I'm going to get some more ink. And I'm seeing as I do this, I get a little bit of splattering, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to come down here because I have quite a bit of ink on there. So I'm going to use that more solid and I'm going to do that. I think that's a part of, I don't know if that's a part of the stairs. I'm not sure what that is. Now see, I'm getting less ink on there. So now I can do, now see how I can do that dry brush better. If you don't have as much ink on it you can do dry brush better and this is the kind of thing that if you're you can do the dry brush you know I've shown you that you can do it awesome with your watercolors you can just do some awesome stuff with with your watercolors with doing dry brush you, it's really neat to do like in the grass and stuff like that I'm gonna kind of fill this in a little bit darker down here underneath and uh, and I'm not doing you the stairs, but these stairs to this thing, boy, the stairs go way, way down to this. I don't know. You know, my husband, when we were first married, he worked in the gold mine in uh, Deadwood, South Dakota. And that was a challenge way down in the, way, way down in the gold mine. But um, I'm glad he didn't stay in the gold mine. I'm glad he came and he ended up working at IBM that was good that that I liked better now I I can see that these uh, all of the where the light shining on there that's got to be dry brush so it's gonna be a challenge I'm gonna wipe off a bunch of my paint on my little thing I'm gonna hold it sideways we'll see what we can do Let's see if we can practice doing this. Doing, yeah. And then we'll then we'll just put other stuff around it to make it look. Oh wow. You you remember now when you're doing dry brush that you always try to hold your brush as flat as you can. And try, see, I'm trying to get a bunch of that ink off of there. Let's see if we you can, and you barely touch the paper. You just are barely touching it. Now, I'm not going to be completed. I'll come back in with my other brush to kind of fill in where I need to, to kind of make lines. And, and I need to do that part up there on the roof. But I like it. It's going to look like it's the, it's going to look like it's a building. So see, you can see I need it down here. So I'm going to do all of this. Here we go. Let's make sure. It's, this is not the best on, I have to tell you, this will not be one of my favorite brushes after we get done with this because I can see it's already getting funny little hair things on it, which I, whoops, see I'm getting that darker than what I would like, but that's all right. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to do with it what we can, huh? That's what you do when you paint. You know what? When this thing is done, I think it's going to be pretty striking. Ah, uh, makes me want to go back up to marble. Um, I don't think, I think you have to have chores now that are, it used to be when we went up there years ago, you could go right up to the marble part and walk in there. Oh, I remember I was afraid for our boys walking across all that stuff. Ooh, it looked awful dangerous to me, but boy, they love doing that. So. Anyway, that's a, a special memory of theirs. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and do solid part underneath that. See, whenever you have dark against the light, it always just, it makes it show off more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy down here. Because then, if, if you just made it all the same thing, it's not very interesting. Now, I don't have as much paint on here, so I need to get back up here and see if I can do a little bit more on these trees. Oh yeah, see now my brush is right. So sometimes you just have to go back and forth. I think this thing is kind of fun. 
I don't know about you. Now see I've got it. See I've got too much paint on there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blot it. So I'm going to blot it with my paper towel and see if I can make it a little bit lighter. No, it's on there. <laughs> India ink tells you if I'm on there, I'm on there. So that's on there. We we won't worry about that. But that's the that's the example. You don't try to do your dry brush on your trees up there until until you part of your ink is gone. Now you will see if you see on this painting up behind here is a mountain. Now that looks like a rock mountain. It doesn't look like the one over here with the trees. So I'm going to come right up behind there. I'm going to do this mountain right back up here in the background and that guy we can do him just pretty dark. We'll just do him like a dark mountain. He's got a little bit of a bump right there. I don't know what that mountain is. I'll, I'll bet the people that live up there, they know what that mountain is. And he kind of comes down like this. And then we'll do some of the trees up around there. But this is mainly our dark, dark mountain up here. And then we'll do aspen trees around there. Now, let's see. Okay, see, I've used up of that ink very, very much. So now I can come back up here. Now I can do brush, dry brush up there. <laughs> you, you have to wait until you don't have much ink on there to try to do your leaves. Oh my, this, you know, this is, this is, uh, okay, I'm going to come over here. Oh, and I see there's, there's some, uh, some dark down here in the corner. Wow, I like that. That's, I don't know exactly what that is. Maybe that's another part of a little house or something over there. But anyway, I'm gonna do this dark corner. You know I like dark corners. Oh, and I look, see, look at that. See, there's a dark corner over there. It looks like to me that's rocks and just some limbs of some kind. Okay, then I'm gonna, I gotta think a dark corner over here. Whenever you make your dark corners, remember I tell you, that always leads you into your main center of interest in the in the middle. You guys, I don't know, but I'm liking this thing. Oh my cow. Oh, it's just kind of crazy, isn't it? Wow. It's it's kind of fun. Okay, so see, I see some dark spots over here. I don't know if that's just because that's where those trees are that it's dark in the shadows you know when you look at the aspen trees you can always see the dark in between the shadows underneath and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of that here and then when my ink is gone we'll do just a bunch of aspen trees in here how's that okay okay here I would see I think I can dry brush I'm just gonna kind of fill this all in because it's just Basically now it's just aspen trees. Now I'm gonna have too much ink on there, so I gotta do something dark somewhere so I can get back in there. We'll do part of this over here. We'll do the bottom of this thing here. And I know those stairs, those stairs must come down here. Okay, now I don't have quite as much ink on there, so I'm gonna come in here, fill in trees, just fill in leaves up there so it'll make it look like it's just the aspen trees kind of shining through. Okay, we'll come back here and do some more dark underneath here and then then hopefully I'll be I have to have a little bit more that I can do the go up there for the aspen trees. See that's still a little bit dark. Ah uh, boy. It, yeah, you just kind of get the feel of how much. But I think it says aspen trees enough there. I'm gonna bring that in. And then this thing is full of aspen trees. So I've got to figure out some way to use up my ink. So I've got something to to uh, do the trees in there because I, I'm not going to be able to do. And you don't hardly see the limbs. There's a, there's a little bit of a limb there of that tree and maybe one there. Let's see if I can get, I don't know trying to do the dry brush. I don't know what the answer is to do the dry brush, guys, if if you don't have part of your ink gone. So it's just barely, just gonna be barely around there. Wow, where 
else can I do? I can do a little bit of dark right there. Okay. Wow. Now see, we could, if we wanted to do this really perfect, and I've done this in watercolor, but with the stairs and everything, oh my, it is a challenge, but it is fun to do. But when I did it in watercolor, I did it very, very exact. I really did. I put uh, a lot of little tiny lines and did the logs and all of that stuff. So, it, you know, you can choose how you, but I'm liking this ink thing. But boy, I get that dark spot up there. And if I, if I, if I do it wrong, let's see if I can, let's see if I can, I don't think I better use that brush. Better use my little tiny brush for the top of that roof. Gotta have that little exact thing. Yeah, it's got to be, because I just, this little top part of this roof is just barely. I'm going to probably have ink all over my arm, but it won't. I'll, I'll wear out eventually. It might take a while, but that's all right. I can, uh, yeah, see, that's why I need to have that exact, because this little guy, I want the top of that roof to show him. And this is, it, this is not having the strong shadow right there on that, that particular spot of that roof. It's just kind of there. And then I see this little place, this right here. This has some little, little tiny lines right there. It's kind of where you go into that door. Oh my, I do not know about you, but I'm liking this jigger. Okay, let's see if I can get I don't know if I, yeah, I'm going to have to have some ink on there, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try putting it on my paper towel, see if I can get part of that off of there. Oh, that's working. Wow, that's good. It's working it to take part of it off with a paper towel so that I can, okay, now I'm going to hold it this way so I can more dry brush. Ah, that's, that's working, that's working. So when you can't get it enough off of there, guys, See, put it on your paper towel like that so that you have most of the ink off and then you can do some dry brush. So now that you've seen the picture, you know that those are aspen trees. Nobody else is gonna know that's aspen trees, but you know it. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of lines in there that will kind of show that it's trunks, even though it doesn't, it doesn't show that in the picture. But you know what? I'm gonna show some of those trunks just just so that you can tell it's trees. How's that? I think we need to do a little bit of that. The, that place is full of aspen trees. There are a few of the pine trees, but not near as many of the aspen trees. It's just, it's just full. And it's by, I don't know if you've heard of the Crystal River. This is not far from the Crystal River. And uh, it's just a beautiful area. If you go, you make sure you have your camera all were hooked up because you're going to want to take lots of photographs because it really is a beautiful beautiful area now i'm just making some little squiggly lines you know what when i like to do calligraphy that's it well people i think i'm done and i'm loving it i don't know where on earth i'm going to put my signature i don't want to put it up in the sky i may have to do it in white but um I hope you've enjoyed this today. Oh, I have enjoyed being with you. Try some ink. You might really fall in love with it. It might be your favorite thing. And I would like to make that a part of your life if it can be your favorite thing. Just remember to clean out your brushes, okay? You guys have a good week, okay?